It is beautiful, isn't it? Listen, what is your attitude towards a rotational work? Do you mean week on week? I mean six months every half a year. It seems to me that this is quite difficult. But sailors live according to such a regime all their lives. But you know, on the other hand, they earn a decent salary. And there are many romantic movies about sailing on ships on the sea. Do you mean Titanic? For example, Titanic. Greetings! You are watching the program Think Big, which is about where and how to study in Ukraine. And today we are paying a special visit to the State University of Infrastructure and Technology. The university was established in 1912 and is now named after Petro Konashevich Sahaidachny. It is comprised of three institutes, seven faculties and three colleges. There are nine buildings and four student residences on the campus of the university. It has 7,000 students and employs about 800 teachers. The university allows the students to earn bachelor degrees in 18 majors and master's degrees in 12 specializations. There are also five specialized academic boards When going out to sea, sailors must know their exact destinations and what their ultimate goal is. Of course, this can be done with the help of electronic systems, but each must know their old grandfather's method. Of course, it's hard to imagine someone with a sheaf of the papers at the century of high technologies, but safety first, because electronic technologies can break in the sea and a parallel navigation ruler, protractor and compass meter will come in handy. Therefore, navigation officers and marine pilots must master these tools perfectly. It is not without reason that sailors say the engine is the heart of any vessel. Indeed, it is not only the work of shovel engineers, but the safety of passengers, cargo and crew that depend on the speed of sailing. Of course, this work is not easy, and you can really besmirch your hands with machine oil. But it can be said for sure that a ship will not sail without shovel engineers and electronic mechanics. Therefore, the students of the university study the entire engine schematic. We study the technical characteristics of diesel engines, preparation of the diesel for startup, diesel engine service during operation, stopping the diesel engine and its service after operation. The main advantage of the shovel mechanics is their universality. They use the same instruments on the land. Therefore, a good shovel engineer is worth his weight in gold. We study the structure of all general systems, refrigerators, turbines and boilers. That is, all the systems that are used on the shore are also used on a ship. This is because the ship is considered by sailors as one small town on the water. The knowledge of radio communications will be very important on the ship. Students get acquainted with the equipment on the land, but they should gain proficient knowledge of the communication systems and procedures in the sea. The main attention should be paid to signals of particular significance – danger, urgency and safety. One hundred and ninety-five countries of the world are recognized by the United Nations Organization. Studying at this university, students have the opportunity to visit many of them. And this round-the-world marathon begins during their studies. This is Andriy. Andriy, at the end of the second year of studies, he set his first sail. During six months, Andriy worked as a deck cadet on a huge oil tanker. In simple words, he was an assistant, helped the crew, studied the material part and gained a lot of experience in this sphere. He openly admits that he had to work very hard there. First, it seemed to me that I knew nothing. You know nothing, and all of this is new for you. I was like in a foreign country, and people of different nationalities were in my crew. Only five of the 24 members of the crew were Russian-speaking. We ate, lived and communicated with each other during our leisure time. So I eventually got used to it. But practical knowledge is not only exciting journeys and new acquaintances, but also a necessity as you will not earn a diploma without it, and the theoretical knowledge not confirmed by practice in marine affairs is not worth much. 
Теория это, конечно, хорошо, без теории никуда, книжки это тоже. Of course, gaining theoretical knowledge is great. You can't move ahead without theory. Reading books and studying literature is also great, but seafaring requires practice. You have to feel all of this inside yourself. You should work hard, you should stay in this environment, and most importantly, you should understand whether you need this for yourself or not. Students start to look for a place for practice from the very beginning of their study. Some have friends, some have parents that were sailors, and some send a resume to a cruise company or apply to the university administration. Our academy, already university, cooperates with the cruise company, which gives students an opportunity to practice. Every year, the representative of the company comes to the university and interviews students. I was lucky enough to become such a student. The average score has to be at least four, and you should have a good command of English. Students that already went on their first maritime voyages understood the complexities of their future profession. They realized that it will be an abnormal working schedule, a limited place and monotonous work. But for them, that is worth the effort. When you are at sea, it seems that every day is like Groundhog Day. The same things happen every day, monotony and communication with the same people. But I was very lucky to be a member of a good crew. All of the guys were very friendly, but there are those who always complicate the lives of everyone on a ship. But sailors enjoy the fact that they can visit a lot of places. This gives them the chance to communicate with different people and nationalities. And of course, it gives them some financial independence. We have already set a course, visited the engine room and checked the communication, so it's time to navigate a ship. But nobody was going to let such a beginner like me to be on the captain's bridge. Instead, you can practice on a simulator. Moreover, you can navigate almost 10 types of vessels here, from a multi-ton tanker to a high-speed vessel. This is a Coast Guard motorboat, or a paramilitary motorboat, if I may say so. That is, it is very fast. We can see it. Now we're sailing at a speed of 23 knots per hour. It's about 50 kilometers per hour. If we observe the level of waters, the waves are approximately 2 to 3 meters in height. When passing through the Bosphorus Strait, do not forget to send out a signal to other ships. Fun is fun, but the main aim of the training on this simulator is simulation of the emergency situations, a possible collision of ships or avoiding hitting the ground. You know, every day you have to manage a little bit but it is not every day that you will have to navigate either a large tanker or even such a Coast Guard motorboat or pass through the Bosphorus Strait to the Sea of Marmara. You can feel like a real sea dog on a navigator training ship. Here students examine and consolidate the knowledge that they gained. A simulator is exactly that, and you will only learn the ropes when you apply your knowledge in practice. During the summer, students of the ship navigation faculty will have a chance to master this maritime science on a real ship. At the moment, we need students to wash, whiten something, or turn the screws in order that they feel this process with their fingers. Besides, the sailors are paid a decent salary. The minimum wage of the captain is five to six thousand dollars. Therefore, there are a lot of people ready to work on a ship, and this is a great incentive to those who plan to study at this university. This university consists of four buildings. 
They are located in four different districts of Kiev. In general, students of one specialty study at one of the campus buildings, but sometimes they go for lessons elsewhere. In such a case, students of the railway faculty can get there by an urban train. Get ready to put on a uniform. More often, the uniform is worn by future sailors, while students of the railway faculty wear it more rarely. Learn English. If you want to earn lots of money after graduation from the university, this particularly applies to future sailors. Raise anchor! <laughs> Be patient. There is no romanticism in the first or second year at the university, but later the students experience the most interesting specialization in practices. Practice is the main thing. The key is to find an interesting and well-paid practice. Take advantage of the course offered by the university. Representatives of the most lucrative transport companies are present at all excursions. They are looking for young, talented professionals and offer a decent salary. Do not miss any opportunities. Almost every masterclass or some kind of course makes you smarter, gives good experience and is in great demand on the labor market. Perhaps you were unaware, but if you work in your specialization, then you will spend more time on the road. Take this into consideration. Podil is one of the best Kyiv districts, and the central building of the university is situated exactly in this district. Have fun, be active, do not sit at home, and take part in sports competitions. It's all about new experiences and new acquaintances. And now let's talk about railway transport. Students get basic knowledge about it at this laboratory of rail cars and equipment. I always dreamed of having such a model in my collection. These models at a scale of 1 to 10 allow you to get acquainted with the rail car designs, their equipment, a system of wheel sets and axle boxes, namely those parts that connect the wheels with the railway carriage. Here in the adjacent laboratory you can learn about the system of the brake equipment of the rolling stock. Locomotive service technicians have a good grasp of the operation of brake control devices. Just speaking honestly, I never in my life pressed an emergency brake valve. Let's try and see what happens. Firstly, it's very loud. And secondly, I should remind you that the one who will do that will bear administrative responsibility and in some cases even criminal liability. Life is not just weekdays in learning. How do students spend their free time? This is Kyiv and there are many variants. But what does this university recommend to them? The planning of the student activities of the university is based on the fragile shoulders of student self-government, the student council and trade union committee. Yana is one of the leaders of these organizations. Cultural events are held at our university once a week. More large-scale events take place once a month. That is, these are major cultural events. Sports events are held more often, to be more precise, once a week or every two weeks. It can be tennis tournaments or football matches. We have our own football team that plays in the Kyiv League. The most popular student event at this higher learning institution is the debut of the first-year students. It is a great festival held on the university's anniversary. Our first-year students are very cool. They are very active. They are very enthusiastic about the holiday. In some way, it resembles a competition between the faculties, where they can show their different skills. This is a chance for them to show how creative and talented they are. But a lot of activities held by the student self-government do not require a special infrastructure. To hold flash mobs, contests and quests, the main thing is the concept behind them. We also hold various charity events. For example, we have been providing charity support to a boarding school for five years. The university has existed in its present form only for two years and has a strong young student self-government. This also means that the university needs active, creative and purposeful students with new ideas, concepts and energy to realize them. I have already navigated a ship. Now I will test myself as a driver of an electric locomotive or at least a simulator. 
Of course, students of the railway faculty decided not to lag behind their colleagues in the water transport faculty and also engineered a simulator of movement. Here you can learn to drive a train on 10 routes of the Ukrainian railway. And the main thing is that thanks to this, the students solved the specialized task of how to drive a train in different conditions. In addition, the university prepares specialists, without whom the movement of the trains is simply impossible. These are dispatchers of railway transport. They control the traffic of trains at stations and guide them along the route with the help of computer programs or a special remote control machine. His main duties are the acceptance dispatch of trains, operations on the movement of rail cars in full compliance with the regulations of railway traffic safety. Everything starts with connecting the electric locomotive to the power source. Yes, and what is this? This is a reduction gearbox. Just imagine, there are 33 types of them. And what is that? This is a brake. And that's it? These are air circulating fans, compressors. Did you find out about this in 15 minutes of the program? Just imagine, people learned this in five years of study. Today we visited the State University of Infrastructure and Technology. That's the way it is, and always think big. Thank <laughs> you.